Book 1, Proposition 8 of Euclid's Elements, again focuses on the basic properties of the side-side-side theorem. So if two triangles have the two sides equal to two sides respectively, and have also the base equal to the base, they will also have the angles equal, which are contained by the equal straight lines. So what this is saying is that if we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle EDF, and they share the base being equal to each other, so BC and DF are equal, AB and ED are equal, and AC and EF are equal, then the goal of this proof is to show that this angle here, BAC, is equal to the angle DEF. And the way that Euclid approached this proof was that he essentially applied this triangle ABC to the triangle EDF. And what that basically means is that he started with point B here and placed it exactly on top of point D. Or in other words, he applied point D to point D so that now point B rests exactly on top of point D. And his next step was to take the line BC and apply it to the line DF. And since B is resting right on top of D and BC is exactly equal in length to DF, we know that point C will now coincide exactly on top of point F. And now the next step is to apply these lines AB and AC to the lines ED and EF. And we can do this if we use Book 1, Proposition 7, which we talked about in the previous video, which basically says that if we have two bases that are equal and we have two lines coming off of those bases at the endpoints, that those lines can only meet in one unique point. So in essence, when we apply line AB and AC on top of this triangle, they will fall out exactly on top of ED and EF due to Book 1, Proposition 7. So now point A rests exactly on top of point E, and since all the points of this left triangle rest exactly on top of these points of the right triangle, we know that now they are in essence the exact same triangle. And since all the points are coinciding, we know that this angle here must be equal to this angle here. So we have that angle BAC is equal to angle DEF, and that is exactly what we sought to prove at the beginning of this video, so we can end this proof with QED.